Hello, and welcome to this video. When you watch this, you'll be fine with everything, and all the good will come into your life. Accept and welcome it. Enjoy the video and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Can you please offer to me a story that's going to give me a feeling of this improved version of myself as in my brilliant, amazing, enormous career as an uplifter? Well, we can, and in previous seminars, we might have. But I like this. <laughs> we've moved to a new way of helping you find this. Mm. In other words, we could take the specifics of that story and talk it to you, mm. sort of like watching a movie. And in the same way that we were talking with the man before, that yes. In some ways, what you're saying to us is, I'm used to facing reality, and I can't find the feeling of something that is beyond reality. Mm. So if you'll just tell me the story of a better <laughs> reality, I could just listen. I could just listen, and it's almost as good as seeing. Oh, and then I'll have that knee-jerk reaction, and there you go. Mm. Brilliant. Rather than just doing it for myself. So, yeah. so, what... Focusing. But we, we're giving you an easier way still. You don't have to tell the details of a story that haven't firmed up for you yet. You just mm. have to find the feeling place of how that would feel. How yes. would that brilliant career feel? What does it feel like? Does it feel like mm. ease and flow? Does it feel like fulfillment? It's astonishing. It's dynamic and it's satisfying satisfying delicious. it's joyful it's delicious yes it is so it's all of those things pick any of those words the yep. one that resonates the most mm. and speak it to us beingness just pure beingness just being in alignment in alignment with who i am in yes. alignment with who i am now now flesh that out a little bit what does being who i am feel like what's what's the dominant word the first word the, the most poignant word that describes being who i am it's it's secure it's yes. knowing it's it's yes. it's it's knowing it's mm. secure it's yes. it's secure it's that assuredness it, it's that clarity. assuredness so so let's just focus on that word mm. secure i love that feeling of secure that feeling of knowing that feeling of all is wellness that feeling that life is good that feeling that things are working out for me that that knowing that things are working out for me oh yes. so exciting when i realized that the problem coming into focus was making a solution come into focus how secure can it be knowing that source energy is there that my inner being stands in my vortex of creation and mm. calls me that all is really well for me that I'm an eternal being oh secure I love knowing the security of my being I love knowing my value I love yes. knowing my worthiness I love knowing my value to others I love knowing that I am an uplifter I love knowing that now all we did was just focus on a word secure and just flesh it out with mm. more words that amplified it and we accomplished more in that conversation with moving your emotion than if we had done 25 conversations about about getting you to envision the career that you want because yes. you've already envisioned yeah, the career that you want by having the career you don't want <laughs> in other words when someone's rude you put not rude in your vortex when they don't pay you enough you put plenty of money in your vortex when they don't stretch you into more excellence you put being stretched into more excellence in your vortex when you're bored in what you're doing you put fulfilled in your vortex once you, once you find the vibration of that then what happens is people who are already doing that and knowing that start showing up in your experience yes. you turn on the television just at the point that you see an interview and you hear one someone telling the story of how it flipped for them in the moment that they understood mm. that it was just all up to them you you hear them talk about their trials and tribulations and struggles early on but you can feel them feeling proud and even appreciative of all of them because somehow those all made this more but you have the advantage of knowing how the mm. universe works you know that you are an eternal being you know about this vibrational reality you know about feeling your way into it you know about focus you know about adjusting vibration you know about becoming a cooperative 
component. You know you'll find the thoughts. You know that the cooperative components will find you. You know that you have to, you do not ever have to define where they'll be and when they'll be and who will bring them and how they will get there and when they will come. All you have to do is find the feeling of what it would feel like to already be there and they will all come and find you. Because finally, mm. you are a cooperative component, you see. Yes. If someone is joyful as an accountant, they're continuing to find new things within that new contrast that is causing them to continue to expand if they are staying happy within that, you see. And so we wouldn't call you groping as much as we would call you expanding. We would call you standing where you are and, and letting the contrast help you to know that you want something more. There is no reason for anyone to settle on anything because the universe will constantly give you a full manifestation of whatever it is that you're asking for from wherever you are. We understand that thinking that you have described if you are living life in an action oriented way. In other words, there is this philosophy that says, I need to go to school and I need to get a discipline and I need to get a diploma or I need to get some credentials that I can then sell. And then I need to get a job and then I need to prove myself within that job. And, and then I, I need to meet the demands of that job in order to earn the money that's coming from it. And we understand all of that on an action basis but there is a whole other arena of creating that is available to you that says so here's what I'm living and from it this is what I'm wanting and the possibility of achieving that is absolute in other words you can't want anything that the universe cannot deliver to you fully once you understand that you see and so why would you feel the need to stand here and figure it all out forevermore when you can figure that out and have it and then 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 figure that out and have it. It's a, as a never ending journey and it can always be joyful if you will stop second guessing yourself and, 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 and stop giving yourself the label of a dabbler and instead acknowledge that you're a creator who likes to collect data and come to new conclusions life is supposed to be fun and when you let yourself go when you relax into that knowing and you let yourself toy with the idea that have been occurring to you and you fantasize around it until the fantasy is as much an active part of your vibration as the reality then the reality shifts to the new fantasy and people who are watching you say what is your magic it seems that every idea you have comes to fruition and each idea just sets you forth to another and another and another your life is so big and so expansive and you seem to be having so much fun what's your secret and you say I'm undisciplined <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a dabbler I'm a dreamer. I, I, I spend more time in my head than I do with my action. I'm, I'm not action oriented. I'm, I'm a mental being. I'm a feeling person. I care so much about how I feel that I choose the things I think about based upon how they feel. You see, what we know about your vibrational escrow, do you know what a vibrational escrow is? That's that becoming you. When you know what you don't want and you know what you do want, that rocket of desire is accumulated in what we are calling a vibrational escrow. And the source energy tends that and becomes that and calls you to it eternally. And when you realize that we don't know any of you who could accurately even come close to defining what's in your vibrational escrow. Because you didn't sit one day in a workshop or with a goal setting list and define it. It happened on the playground. It happened when you were interacting with people. It happened when you were watching movies and reading books. In other words, every part of your life has caused you to amend, 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 become, 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 become. And the source energy that you've been thanking all day for helping you out is exalted in the becoming that you are becoming. In other words, every time life causes you to become something, we become it and hold it and radiate it and law of attraction responds to it and calls you to it. And when you just let go of the oars and let yourself float, let yourself go toward that which life has caused you to become, now you're satisfied, now you're fulfilled, now you're exhilarated, now you're energized, now you feel passionate and eagerness about life you see thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and share it with someone
who could use some motivation. God bless you all, and we wish you a pleasant day.